What is up guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today's video is super unique because Gymshark is launching a brand new seamless collection. And we all know that does not happen often. So when they do launch a brand new seamless range, we gotta be all ears. Like what are we looking at here? Introducing Gymshark's brand new everyday seamless collection. I know what you're thinking. So is this gym wear or is this athleisure? That might be a tricky question and we're gonna answer that in a few. But before we get into this video, if you are not already, please do me a solid and hit that subscribe subscribe button. We have a ton more Gymshark coming your way. This is just the tip of the iceberg when it comes to these July releases. Now I know I'm behind a video. I actually just received all of the pieces in like two days ago. Here we are filming the Everyday Seamless collection first, but we're also going to be reviewing the brand new Fleck crossover collection, Rest Day, a brand new contrast collection as well. So definitely hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out. This Everyday Seamless collection is launching Wednesday. <laughs> July 26th at 11 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. I did say that right, it's Wednesday. I did double check on the brief. I was like, are you sure it's not Thursday? Because y'all only ever launch on Thursday. So don't get it twisted. It's on hump day. It's gonna be on hump day, all right? End of story. And as always, I wanna thank you guys so much for your support using my code, AshleyG at checkout. It does save you 10% off of your entire Gymshark order always. You guys have been super supportive. You know it does help go towards supporting this channel and it gives Bay and I the opportunity to bring these videos to you. So thank you so much. We both very much appreciate you guys. Everything you see in today's video is in my true size small. Check out my measurements over here. I'll also have them in the description box below as well. And once these pieces do go live, I'll link everything individually for you. And a huge thank you to Gymshark for sponsoring today's video. The pieces you can expect to see in this collection are shorts, leggings, crop tanks, and long sleeve crop tops. That's it, it's very simple. Once I tried these pieces on, I was like, they're definitely gonna make more to this range. I just know it. Because I don't know about you, but when brands come out with collections that don't have sports bras, I'm instantly like, where the frig are my sports bras? <laughs> where are they? What do you expect me to wear? So right off the bat, when I saw there was no sports bras, I assumed Okay, everyday seamless. This is more casual outerwear, right? The colors that are launching in this collection are cargo teal, navy, black, and fog purple. I have every single color here to show you guys except for the black. Let's start off with the leggings. So I have fog purple and cargo teal right here. Cargo teal is a mixture of sage green and gray. I would definitely mark it as more of a cool tone. In certain lighting, you'll see a little more green. In some, you'll just be like, wow, this is just straight gray. Fog purple is just a very hazy lilac purple. Again, some gray tones throughout, so both very cool muted tones. As you can see from me just holding up this legging, the waistband is very boxy. There's no three-tier tapered. It is very straightforward, very cookie cutter waistband. I really love the waistband because it's not overly compressive. I'm starting to favor non-tapered waistbands. Can't even believe I'm saying that, but to be honest with you, I just like the comfort level that a normal waistband has to offer. Where a three-tier taper, sure it might give you more of an hourglass look, and if you're somebody who really prefers that type of compression, that may work for you. But for me, I'm just like, dude, get off my waist. You have a printed logo on the left hip. The overall material is very, very soft. A lot of buoyancy to it. You can feel it feels like, uh, like a rubber band. <laughs> actually reminds me so much of the OG Apex. I'm so sorry if you're like, what the hell is that? But the OG Apex came out maybe a year and a half, two years ago, and it was one of my favorites. I really loved it because it hugged the glutes so nicely. This is what the material first reminded me of, which I am very happy to see because it's very comfortable. They actually feel relatively thick until you put them on. Then all of a sudden, it's like they, they just shear out <laughs> and become very thin, where I'm like, what the hell? This sheerness, reminds me of how the warp knit was. Do you remember that warp knit? That was like a one hit wonder. That's how the everyday seamless is, in my opinion. It is a super flattering legging and it's a 10 out of 10 comfort, but where it gets me is the crazy sheerness. It is super duper shiny. I guess these fibers, the plasticky fibers that make it as stretchy as it is, is really just reflecting that light. So from the front, it's very solid. I don't even see a marl breakup, nothing. One solid color, no contouring or anything from the front. 
the action happens on the back, and it's not even that much action. I'm just warning you. You do have a raised seam contour, no scrunch bum. And then we have the subtle glute contour that wraps right underneath, right up the sides. That's the first thing I thought of, especially when I put them on. I was like, oh wow, wow. Even though there's no scrunch, this type of material is really good at hugging the glutes. Given that this material is super stretchy, you have a lot of room to play back here. So you could play with the material, it makes the glutes look fire. Now I know we discussed how crazy sheer these leggings are, but I have to admit something. They're really good for cellulite coverage, which is so insane to me because they're thin. So usually, typically, with thinner leggings, it really doesn't have enough support in them to conceal cellulite. In this case, I didn't deal with any cellulite. I was actually shocked. Now again, that is just how it was on me. Your experience could be different. I'd give this entire legging a very moderate compression. So I am a fan of this material. Overall, I really think that it's not only flattering, but super comfortable, and it does move with you. There's no gaping in the waistband, and not to mention the length is very favorable for me being five foot three. I'm having no issues there. You will see sweat on the lighter colors, please know that if you are a heavy sweater, it will show through. But because this is such a lightweight, thinner type of legging, it does breathe very well. So it will dry your skin fast. It's really good at wicking. So if you're looking for a hot weather friendly set, you might want to consider this. I have one pair of shorts in the color navy. When I first received these, I knew two things. Number one, they'd be too short for my preference. And number two, they would roll. I knew with this short of length and this material, I was like, yeah, it's gonna roll. I'm starting to feel like that's not the end of the world anymore and it's almost predictable when it comes to shorter shorts. Not a huge deal, not uncomfortable. These are very comfortable shorts. We're looking at a four inch inseam. The contour on this dark of a color is not noticeable one bit. Like I don't even see it slightly. <laughs> the good thing about these shorts, I'm not feeling like there's a heavy cinch around my thighs. I don't necessarily wear shorts to the gym, but these could be nice shorts to wear under a looser fit shorts for me. Shorts that don't necessarily have a liner, that's when I'll wear these really tight fit shorts. Overall, with the shorts and leggings, they're very consistent. Sometimes in certain collections with certain brands, I'll wear a darker color and it'll feel 10 times more compressive. Here, I could say everything felt very consistent throughout. When it comes to the dreaded CT, take a look. In the overlap, you can see it's so smooth down there, is it not? I am very comfortable in my true size small. I would say stick to your true size. If you're in between, it wouldn't hurt to size up because, I mean, would you want it any more sheer? <laughs> That's the question of the day. When it comes to seamless wear, especially scrunch bums, I know this is not a scrunch line, but when it comes to scrunch bums that pull throughout, you know, you're pulling from the front a little bit and accentuating, and accent, and ex, and accentuating, and accentuating those not so wanted curves, you gotta wear a thick seamless underwear. Like I said before, they did not launch any sports bras in this range, instead, you're looking at it. I have navy and cargo teal. I'm all for a crop tank. I am. But in this instance, when there's no sports bras involved, I personally would have loved a little more support here. These are just crop tanks, which means you gotta wear something underneath. Now, I'm ill-prepared, right? What am I supposed to wear? I'm wearing the minimal bra. That's my solution to this range, the minimal bras. They are launching brand new minimal bra colors alongside of the Everyday Collection at the same exact time. I am wearing the, I don't even know what color this is, dusk green, I believe. <laughs> I'm sorry, there's so many freaking different greens going on now. It almost goes with this cargo teal. So if you're looking for something that might match, it might go. It's a shade or two off though. They're also launching spiced red. And we also have midnight blue. So damn close to the navy blue, almost there. So if you wanna pair a bra with these shorts, look at, look how close they are, it hurts. I really wish these were all a perfect match, but it's not a perfect world, so what are you gonna do? So we have a nice V-neck line. All right, so it can show off the girls ever so slightly, but nothing crazy because like I said, there's really no support here. So wear a minimal bra underneath and you should be a-okay. Me, you know me by now, right? Every single time there's anything with length, I gotta tuck it up. Like I said before, I'm a mother tucker. There's no shame in that game, all right? I don't know what it is, especially when I'm working out. I don't want anything around my rib cage. I don't want anything tight there. I need to breathe. This band right here, a little compressive, I'm not gonna lie. Just enough compression where I'm like, no, you gotta go. So I tuck it on up 
and now it's like, all right, we're good here. Obviously no adjustments. There's no shelf bra, no option to insert bra pads. This really is just a tank you wanna wear under something looser. Super comfortable though. Nothing's digging, nothing's digging underneath the armpits. It's very stretchy, the material's working. And I don't know if you guys notice, it's super hard to detect, but you actually have the same contour that's underneath the glutes on the leggings, right underneath the chest. Highlighting that under boob. Really can't even see it that much, but it's like a little smiley face right underneath y'all titty. Like I said before with the leggings, very true to size with these crop tanks. If you're in between, me personally, I would be sizing up because I wouldn't want this ribbing to be any tighter. I don't mind having it ever so slightly loose up top. Because it doesn't matter. There's no bra or anything in it. Last but not least, let's finish off with this long sleeve top. If they didn't have this top in the mix, I would have said, okay, this is absolutely athleisure and let it be that. But then all of a sudden they came out with this long sleeve. So now I'm like, okay, wait, you might be able to go to the gym in this. <laughs> I have to admit, I personally am not a huge fan of working out in long sleeves, that's just me. But this is your traditional long sleeve crop top. There's no thumb holes. The sleeves are a little bit long, but nothing new there. I do feel like compared to the leggings, this is a lot thicker. So when I wear the leggings, they stretch out, they thin out. When wearing this top, I still feel like it has that insulating factor where it doesn't quite thin out for me. It's too hot to wear in the summer, me personally. If you're in an air conditioned gym, yeah, go to town. They did not skimp on the details here. You still have the matching contour underneath the underbust. You have a very baby ribbing down here. It doesn't budge, it doesn't move. So when I'm lifting up my arms, it does a great job at staying in place. But you can see where it tends to wrinkle a little bit. It is because the material feels slightly thicker. Me personally, I'm more likely to wear the crop tank than the long sleeve, especially now with these hot months. But do keep this in mind in case you wanna set for the fall time, in case you really love these colors, this color palette works for you then you might wanna consider stocking up now for the fall weather. Long sleeve, very true to size. If you're in between, again, I'm gonna size up because I wouldn't want it too tight. All right guys, what are we thinking about the new Gymshark Everyday Seamless range? Comment down below all of your thoughts because I want to hear them. So yeah, overall, I think they did a nice job on this range. I think the comfort level is there. I like that they went with a minimal aesthetic. I do think that that's just, that's just it these days. People don't want anything crazy going on. And I do think with Gymshark, you know they tend to be a little wild sometimes, especially with the new releases coming your way. I'll give you a sneak peek right here. That contour collection. <laughs> Well, I really appreciate you guys being here. Thank you so much for your constant support. I love you guys so much, and I can't wait to see you in my next video.